Son of the South is slated for release in theaters and online February 15th. It tells the often turbulent story of Bob Zellner's experiences at the forefront of the civil rights movement for six decades. He's supposed to be nonviolent now. I'm having a real big problem with that right now. It's even being recommended by a branch of the United Nations as best world peace and tolerance narrative feature film which will probably get a lot of eyeballs on the movie because everybody's looking to see what's happening here in the United States right now. The film is based on Zellner's book, The Wrong Side of Murder Creek, directed by Montgomery native Barry Alexander Brown and produced by Spike Lee, who also has ties to the state. It was filmed in Alabama and Montgomery and Baldwin County. Zellner, who lives in Fairhope, says a lot of young actors from the state are in the movie, and he hopes it will inspire younger generations. And it will give uh, a lot of us an opportunity to speak to a lot of young people about uh, the job ahead of them in uh, healing the wounds that we've been trying to heal since uh, the Civil War and even before. Zellner, the grandson of a Klansman, says the groundwork laid by activists in the civil rights era of the 60s is still paying off, and he offered the state of Georgia as an example, which recently elected its first black person and a Jewish person as senators. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.